so today we are going to discuss the model railway software the railroading software that you can use to plan your layout track planning software helps you to design your layout it helps you to make sure everything lines up as desired some software comes with a template which lets you quickly add a sectional tracks to your layout and when you're done it can also supply you the list of materials which is going to be handy for you when you have to go and buy the tracks or buy the uh, all the accessories for your layout so one of such software is called AnyRail and it is one of the most popular software out there it's probably the easiest to use model railway design tool around and uh, it's totally independent it has everything inside you don't have to bring something from outside so you can build with almost any track it has a libraries and uh, from uh, at last uh, micro engineering uh, peco anything that you are using you can just go and select from the libraries what you want everything is there already you don't have to do anything that's the beauty of any rail it's a library based system this software is also multilingual that means you have to uh, you have the option to use uh, different languages if you are not familiar with english or if you if you're from other parts of the world and then it has also a uh, multilingual support and uh, this software is also compatible with uh, windows versions from xp uh, windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 and uh, it comes with a free demo version so you have you don't have to buy it directly you can just download the demo version try it out see if it helps for your layout planning and if if it does then you just have to go and buy the license the demo version gives you the ability to use up to 50 objects for your layout but most probably you will need to use more than 50 objects so that's something it, it depends on how your layout is now there are many other softwares available for the layout planning other than the any rail like rr track there is also 3d planet there is a cad rail maybe i'm not even familiar with what is there but these are the few i know but for these videos we will just stick with any rail so let's get started with any rail and we'll see the basics and we'll start from there okay so first we will do is go to the settings and change the settings before we do anything so you just have to go to the settings tab go to the measurement system you can change to centimeter millimeter inches fractional inches and decimal inches for my uh, layout I'm going to stick with the inches the decimal inches so next thing we have to do specifying work area size now what is work area size is it is like a it's like a piece of paper which you are going to use to draw your layout design so you have to just uh, give it approximately bounding box of your area the layout size and uh, that's good that's good enough so for this example I'm going to give it the area of uh, three feet by six feet okay so that's going to be length six feet and width three feet okay so next thing we have to do is uh, deciding this the drawing scale so what is drawing scale is that it is the way that the any rail is going to display the layout on the screen so it's like a zoom of your layout if you go to the right lower right corner of your layout uh, it's a uh, it is displayed is to like 1 is to 10 1 is to 20 or 1 is to 1 so it, it shows you how small or bigger your layout is visible you can also do this from the home tab so if you go to home tab so you have the option to select the view scale from here as well and the third version of the same thing is using the shortcuts if you press control on your keyboard and just use a mouse wheel you will have the zoom in and zoom zooming out effect the same thing will work and with the shortcut if you use control plus minus or control plus uh, control and plus on your keyboard you can also do the same thing so you do it with the control plus and minus keys 
then you can do it with the control and a mouse wheel you can do it from the home tab and you can do it from the lower right side corner of your layout which is called a slider a view scale slider okay next thing is the track libraries the track libraries is one of the best thing I like about the any rail system and uh, these libraries are pre-built for you you don't have to do anything and these libraries comes for every manufacturer so if you're using atlas Marklin, pico any manufacturer you like to use you have the option to use it from this library section now how to use the track libraries so the simple way to use the track libraries is to go to track libraries tab and then select the name of the manufacturer to open the list of the track libraries now you can open more than one library for your layout you don't have to use only one library you can use one two three libraries at the same time and it will not use anything incompatible to join the tracks it, it is very uh, trustworthy system it will not connect two pieces of track if they don't match so, uh, unless you tell it to do but it, it is not going to do it on its own okay so I think that's enough for the first video of the any rail the introduction and in the next video we will see how we can do our first small layout with oval shaped track plan okay so see you in the next video bye for now have a good day